Hello, welcome. It is uh, Sunday, the 30th day of October 2016. Welcome to the Silver Charts channel. My name is Derek and this video will not contain any silver charts, but uh, United States elections coming up soon. And I did a video on October 21st and I wanna do a second one and probably a couple more coming soon in November as well. I also have three picks for today's Sunday NHL card. And this is a partial screenshot from oddschecker.com, which shows the odds you get for Clinton, Trump, and then all the outsiders, but you pretty much tell it's a two-party system race. These guys got, now they literally have no chance. And that's what I said about the Donald last time at five to one. And maybe I should, should retrace that as the odds have moved in his favor where betting on Trump on October 21st means you can guarantee profit if you wish today by betting on Clinton with the odds moving to one and three. And I think a lot of these odds are gonna move this way as we move into November 3rd, November 5th, and all the way up to the election date, which is, I don't know what the date is. I think it's around the 10th or 11th historically. And uh, they're gonna move wildly. So if you think you got a good determination of which way a line's going to move, you can bet one side and then play it like a stock market and try to guarantee some profit. Well, get profit. Uh, by betting the other side when the line moves. Now some key things to point out. I think one is the supporters as you see like basketball arenas of like 12 and 20,000 being filled for Trump versus 80, 90% less the population for Hillary Clinton. I think a key thing to point out is that a lot of the Trump supporters are activists, people who don't don't like whatever it is, whether it's the economy, whether it's 911 for uh, truth movements, and whether they're against Monsanto, whatever it is, they're so against the status quo one way or another, they're supporting Donald Trump. And then you got to look at the vast majority, the people that have been labeled as sheeple and their mind control. They don't get it. They don't understand. And I got to think that they would consider they'd be more towards Hillary Clinton, but a lot of them are into celebrities and Donald Trump is such. But I think it's interesting to note that you got to throw in the attendance as an activist are going to go to those things. Non activists just don't go to those things. Also worth noting is are the elections set up uh, fixed, if you will, and I, unless you know for sure, the best answer is you got to say, I don't know. Now you can say, I think it is or it isn't. But when I look at if it is set up that way, how do I know that they're going to set it up for this person to win? Or how do I know they're going to set it up for Clinton to win and not for Trump to win? As say for Brexit, as an example, I heard from Lindsay Williams, they want to take down Europe first, and then they're going to go after the global economy after that. Well, that might be a reason why they wanted the Brexit to vote to go that way. Maybe they, as in the ones, if it is being set up, wants Trump to win because if that win happens, they can do this, they can do that, this will be the next situation. I don't know. So if Trump wins, I'm not going to say the election was not set up and it was not a fair one because I don't know, if, regardless, of course, the winner. So that is the information for the election. I'm gonna to try to do a couple more of these videos before, it, uh, before the election, as I do expect these things to move wildly as far as NHL selections are concerned. I 0-4 yesterday, I got my ass destroyed yesterday, really not even close in three of the four picks. Uh, Philadelphia, Carolina, over five and a half. This just, the price is just way too high. And uh, I'm going to take it. Nothing big. Just all, every pick's one unit. But if you want to bet anything big, it's the bottom one. Kings and Hawks to go to overtime. Yes, at plus 260. The last three Chicago games have went to overtime. Four of the last five LA games have done such. Buddha's playing well for LA. And it's a Western Conference. Hopefully a lower scoring game where 2-2 two -two seems to be the final score after three. And then Edmonton laying a goal and a half. I would this this probably should be my first two unit pick of the season, but after 0 and 4 yesterday, I'm not quite ready for it. Early on the season, Edmonton's average outcome is exactly one and a half goals scored more than against. And the last four games have all been multiple wins with uh, an injury riddled Sens net minding team. 
I got to think it's close to 50% that the Oilers may win this game by two or more, thus making it a great play. But after knowing four day, I'm not going to put my first one, a two-unit play in after such. Thank you for tuning in.